What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has filmed her 7-Eleven edition mukbang. I hope this can only coincide with the review of the microphones she's promised. But we start with a Hamio plug, and I'm sure by now everyone knows about the Hamio. But she bookends this video with promotions for it. She's got a wall of food in front of her, and she's proud that she can finally show us what she likes from 7-Eleven. She seems frustrated, though, that she can't film in the 7-Eleven. But I went back and I verified. When they first got there, they went into a 7-Eleven. They filmed. They talked about the bags, the iced coffee, the straws. So they've definitely filmed in one. But let's not get away from the fact that we're now seeing her eat for a full week if we're going by the couple's vlogs in a hotel room. Now, she starts off with, and I just want to reiterate to you, like a chocolate milk drink, kind of. That's her description. Very delicious. We then move on to the food. She enjoys the tiny fork that it comes with, and she says, I don't even know. I think they're spicy chicken. So, the first two favorites, she can't actually define. It is unclear of what they are. We have lots of editing and an admission that her ring light is dying. She's also not using the microphone, and she says that's okay because she wants to, quote, see which one is better. She then moves on to a bag of ketchup-flavored chips, which were clearly already opened, and she washes those down with the chocolate milk. She describes the 7-Eleven as some incredible business, that they added hot water to the noodles for her, that they toasted her cheese crispy, that cheese crispy is nothing more than a glorified panini. Many of us have used very similar sandwich makers like this, including the shell-like design that it has, but Chantal is just amazed by this invention. She does not know, however, what type of cheese it is. So just as a quick recap, okay, drink, not sure, possibly chocolate. Soup, not sure, possibly spicy chicken. Cheese crisp, filled with cheese, unsure what kind. He then finishes it in a handful of bites and says, there's also some kind of butter. At this point, I honestly would just like to ask you, do we need to remove Foodie from her channel name? But I'm perplexed because if we do that, then it's just going to leave the name Beauty, which I'm sure just as many, if not more of you will contest. But how can you call yourself a foodie and be so unsure about your favorite foods when you have literally a month to prepare this video? So she then dumps the chips all over, gives us a close-up bite. She confirms that Everything with her must have a sauce, and pours chili sauce on the crisper, which is gone in four bites. She then says, last but certainly not least, despite the fact that we can clearly see in the camera view there's a piece of cake, she moves on to the hot dog. She coats the hot dogs in a mayo and ketchup blend, and if you wanted this dog to go, you're in luck, because it's gone in three bites. She then goes back to the noodles, then back to the crisper, then back to the chips, and... Before telling us she has a cheesecake for dessert, she's washing this all down with chocolate milk. She talks about going into a 7-Eleven and the number of them there and how different they are from the ones in Canada. We are reminded that everything she does revolves around food. Every memory has to be connected to something that she ate because she said she would love to go to clubs. They constantly change ownerships, the same music, the same DJs. She then forgets the point of the story because she's so enamored with the hot dogs that she's eating. And she kind of goes into this dialogue that it's 4 a.m. and the restaurant doesn't have food that's up to her high standard that we've just learned about. So, in short, it didn't have as good of a mystery cheese sandwich as the 7-Eleven did that's soaked in bread the day before it goes stale with butter to mask the flavor of stale old bread. She says the 7-Eleven there she avoided due to its location and its poor quality quality of food, but th this 7-Eleven in Thailand, understand, it only serves hot food, because it's it's better there. She does miss the nacho cheese dispenser. She talks about how she would coat everything with it, from nachos to taquitos to probably just her fingers, and then licking the cheese off, I would imagine. And while being upset the four-pack of hot dogs she is eating is not filling, she then sets the noodles aside and says she will, quote, eat them later. At this point, it's clear her body emits a sound that you can only truly appreciate if you respect the fact that she's washing down cheese dogs covered in mayonnaise and ketchup, tomato-flavored chips, 
grilled cheese dunked in butter, and spicy chicken noodles with a creamed ice chocolate drink. Because my stomach feels ill just thinking about it, much less actually eating it. However, she then proceeds to rip open the cheesecake like she's about to interrogate it after it committed unspeakable crimes, and only she is able of serving it justice. She holds up the wrapper and proclaims, I always lick this, but God forbid a calorie be left behind. She won't show us, which is very contradicting to her, I don't film the meals that I shouldn't be eating for you guys, but I also can't film me licking the film of this cake clean off camera. This poor cheesecake, I want you to understand, had just watched, helplessly, mind you, all of its friends perish before its eyes. She takes the first bite at the 1553 mark and the last bite at the 1709 mark. It takes just six bites with near gasps for breath in between for this cheesecake to meet its demise. And then she tells us how much she loves the feeling of going to the 7-Eleven, how she eats the chocolate glue that they use to bind the cake in place to the packaging, and then she blames the weather and her inability to walk for the lack of content on the couple's channel before ending the video relatively quickly. So I do want to talk about the comments that were left in my last video, Fat underscore Shadow said she needs to leave some food for the rest of Thailand, which a very foreshadowing Fat Shadow, pun fully intended, based on what we just saw. And LOLZ8983 said LMAO, the look of regret and the glimpse of I shouldn't have offered on her face when Sala went away with that chicken. Laugh out loud, she thought he'd take a little bite and give it back. And I will say, it's interesting, that was an observation that I made in that video, that she asked him, would you like to try a bit of this chicken, after she had, as I defined, ate it like the way a bear would eat a salmon, just in the claw and then in the mouth. And I think she probably did assume that Sala would look over, see her manhandling this chicken breast, and more than likely say, no, I'm good. But apparently he felt the need to think that maybe he could, I don't know, eat the side that she hadn't taken a bite out of, and it would be okay. Because the chicken didn't look that bad. But when he comes over and takes the chicken, you can almost tell she's waiting for him to reciprocate it back to her and she kind of looks up at him but then the chicken never comes back and she just kind of stares off in disgust but it's funny that sometimes to be mindful of what I'm saying and not perhaps over project I don't always say the things that I'm completely speaking because I actually want to look in the comment section and see if other people are picking up on the small nuances that I am that a lot of times I do say and you do agree with so it was very, very interesting to see not only that comment get mentioned, but also how many of you agreed with it, because I am in 100% agreement with every one of you. There is no way she ever expected to lose control of that chicken, and the way she eats in that video, in this video, so protective of food, I was kind of amazed she would offer it to him to begin with. But don't worry if you forgot, she made sure she ate some of his noodles to make up for it. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. You know I will be back, just like Chantel in that 7-Eleven, as soon as I can, with more content.